hook up with the laughing squid anyways? Well, I met Scott Beal. Um, he was friends with some of the uh, other friends that I had, so he hired me for the uh, monthly advertising. And uh, he gave me a raise about a few months ago, seven hundred a month, so he was a very nice spot. Um, it's a technology that art and cultural events on his website. So he let me have the regular advertising. He's been uh, letting me advertise for about uh, one or two years now. So he is my best advertiser so far. And then uh, I already met John Blackson from CBS News and Tom Brokaw from NBC 90 News. <laughs> Tom Brokaw, really? Yeah. I talked to him over at the uh, St. Regis Hotel about a few years ago, over there right off there at Mission Street. Told him that I met their producer, George Lewis, uh, Jim Kyles and George Lewis, the journalist, and told him about the populations of the other galaxies and that I was a movie star too. So you were a movie star? Yeah. You are a movie star? Yeah. I met Jim Weeders from uh, Channel 7. He moved over to ABC uh, News, the national networks, and uh, he identified me as a movie star too. So wait, what movies have you been in? The movies of me are probably across uh, 110 galaxies of populations. Also, you gotta read the Wikipedia article. Ah, okay, that's right. I was identified from the richest family today too. Richest family, yeah. yeah. So how many how many miles do you log in every day? Do you do you, do well, you have any I, idea? Probably the past uh, 10 or 20 years, I probably broke the Guinness Book of World Records. Probably uh, farther than the March of Dimes. Uh, for the probably for the longest protests. Uh, in world history. And how do you usually find out about these events? I know I always ask you whenever uh, I see you on the streets, like, what's going on, Frank? I met Richard Becker, the Edsu Coalition president, and uh, the World Can't Wait organization. So they tell I met, you? I met some of their staff people. Uh, they were able to give me some of their flyers, and uh, I uh, attended some of their rallies and marches and protests, and uh, checked some of their tables and pick up some of their flyers. And uh, Channel 7, 5, and 4, I met just about all the regular journalists and cabinet. So, so wait, so you get most of your information from word of mouth, or do you have internet access at home? Or? Well, I usually, uh, a friend of mine helped me check the uh, internet access, uh, org, so I can find out some of those events. And uh, co-pink women protesters, I uh, met almost all their staff people, too. Well, you, you pretty much know all the newscasters in town. I always see you talking to yeah, them. Yeah, Channel 5, correct? 7, and 4. I met just about all their regular journalists and uh, NBC 11 and Channel 2 also. So everybody recognizes you already, yeah. right? Yeah, I met America Avenue, Sir Willie Brown, and uh, met Jerry Brown, Jimmy Carter's, John Edwards, and George P. Schultz. Have too. you ever met Obama yet? I mean, didn't get a chance to meet Obama, but met Jimmy Carter and... Uh, the John Edwards, John Kerry, and uh, Kucinich, too. Oh, what about any of the Republicans? Have you ever met any Republicans? Uh, I met Ron Paul. And, uh, Ron not, Paul, really? Yeah, probably not as many as the Republicans. Because they never, they never hit San Francisco, that's why. The Republicans yeah. usually are uh, involved with uh, more of the corruption of the CIA. Awesome. <laughs> So, wait, you didn't tell me how many miles you think you log every day. Well, well, every on day, average. The past 10 years, I probably broke the Guinness World's uh, record of uh, walk the uh, But give me a number. Give me a number. Let's say how many I miles you walk I don't have any specific today. exact uh, numbers, but... Uh, it doesn't have to be I think exact. I pro- it's I probably a rough went, estimate. I think I went farther than the March of Dimes and... Uh, Dr. King's the protesters. How often do you change your, you replace your shoes because you walk so much? I probably buy a new pair of shoes about um, probably about twice a year. Twice a year? A year. Yeah. You ever get tired of walking? Just walking? Uh, sometimes just uh, stop off afterwards, take a little lunch break or dinner break. And, uh, uh, okay, don't. you take a lunch break, right? What's your favorite restaurant in the city? Sometimes you go to the McDonald's or uh, the Westfield Mall, the Panda Express restaurant. Okay. So, Car- Carl Street. Well, I'm talking about non-chain restaurants. What's your favorite restaurant? And what's your favorite well, product? I was yet? going to the Cheesecake Factory and the Sir Francis Drake restaurant. <laughs> went to the Scaleless restaurant and the uh, Lefty Duels restaurant. Lefty Duels. For dinner. Dude. What's your favorite part of town? I like the downtown San Francisco Financial District and uh, Union Square and the Civic Center too. 
where the crowds are. Yeah, more crowds. That's where all the crowds are. Yeah. What's the usual reaction of uh, tourists that, that see you on the street? Well, Do they ever the, talk to you? Yeah, some of the people over the crowd stop by and talk to me. So I tell them that I met uh, some of the journalists from CBS or Channel 7 or Channel 5. And, uh, or tell them I was published by the San Francisco Chronicle or San Francisco Examiner. And tell them about populations of other galaxies and that I was identified as a movie star also. So they pretty much are very glad to talk to me and, uh, you know, very understanding also. Awesome. Thanks, Frank. Okay, thank you.